Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to add a new page in WordPress Elementor. So let's just begin. Alright, so to create the new page in Elementor, that is really easy. All you need to do is to go inside the pages and click on the all pages. And one thing that you have to make sure is that we have to install the Elementor first. So it has to be installed first. Okay. And after this, what we need to do, we just have to click on add new page. And now you can see this, we have the title and we have the blocks here that we can choose to add on our page. But obviously this is not the Elementor. So we'll add it this with Elementor. So what we can do here, we can simply add the title here, like a new page. All right. And this would be the title of our page. Okay. Now let's just have a look at some options here. So the first one is the visibility. So the visibility of the page would be public. So if you wanted to change this into the private and the password protected, you can simply do this from here. And after this, we have the publish option. So if I just click here, you can see this. We have right now the value is immediately. It simply means when I click on the publish, the page will be published. But if I wanted to set a kind of intermediate or the schedule time, I can also do this from here. Okay. So let's just close this. And after this, we have the template. So if I just click this, you can see this, we're going to have the three or four different options. So we have the theme, we have the Elementor full width, we have the Elementor canvas and we have the default template. So usually we go with the default template, but sometimes we can also go with the other options. All right. So after this, we have the URL of our page. Okay. So if I just click here, you can see this, this will be the permalink of our page. All right. So now let's just close this and after this we have the author and after this we have the featured image and we also have the discussion and in the last we have the page attribute. Okay. And now let's just click on publish. All right. So we have successfully created our page, but now as we wanted to edit this in the Elementor, I would just simply click on edit with Elementor. All right. So the interface that you can see here is basically Elementor editor. So from here, we can edit our page with the help of Elementor. Okay. But first we'll go into the settings. That will be the page settings. So you can see this in the page settings, we have the title. So I can also change the title from here. And we also have the status of the page. So that is published. So I can also change this into the draft, pending, review, private and published again. And after this, we have the featured image and we have the order. We have the allow comments. If I wanted to enable the allow comments, I can simply do this from here. And I also have hide title. So if I wanted to hide the title, I can also do this from here. And in the last, we have the page layout. So in the page layout, we have the same options. So that we have already seen. So now I will tell you the difference between default and the other these options. So if I click on the Elementor canvas, now you won't be able to see any header or the footer. You will see the blank page here. Okay. So if I just go back into the setting again and now click on the Elementor full width. Now this template would include header and full width content and also the footer. So that is basically the default one. And in the last, we have the theme. So that will be the default page template from my theme. Okay. So right now I don't want to have any header and footer. So I'll go here with Elementor canvas. So if I just go into the settings again, you can also see the option of the style here. So in the style, you can see we have the body style. So in body style, we can add the margin pairing and also the background type. And after this, we have the advanced settings. Okay. So now let's go back into the setting. All right. So now I'll simply go back and you will be able to see the different elements here. Okay. So if I wanted to add the heading, I will simply drag this and put this here and this will add the heading here. Okay. And the similar way, if I wanted to add the image, I can simply drag this. If I wanted to add the paragraph or the video or the button, I can simply do this from here. So let me just add the image here now. So that would be after the heading. So this will be our image. And if I just go back and if I just click on the text editor, so this will be the paragraph that will be the after image. Okay. And I can also customize all of these elements individually. Like if I wanted to customize the paragraph, I can do this from here. I can style this from here. Similarly, if I wanted to add the image and style the image, I can also do this from here and same goes for the heading as well. Okay. So if I wanted to change the heading, write down a new page. Now you can see this, we have simply changed the title of our page and I can also add the link here. All right. So this is how we can add the content on our page. Okay. 
uh, so we have a lot of the different options here so you can see we have the google map we have the spacer we have the icon and we also have the, a lot of the things that are the part of pro version in elementor but obviously we also have a lot of the things that are also the part of free version okay so you can explore these options by yourself and also we have the navigator here so this will help you to navigate between the different elements that you have on the page and after this you have the history so if you wanted to go back into the history like i don't want it to have a new page text i will simply click on the previous version and now that would have uh, and here so if i just click on the text editor now you can see this we simply changed our heading here so simply we just went back to our previous version okay and after this we have the responsive mode so if you wanted to see your page on the mobile version tablet version or the desktop version you can simply choose it from here so if i just click on the mobile version this is how it will look on the mobile version if i just click on the tablet version this is how it will look on the tablet version okay so let's go back to the desktop version and in the last we have the preview changes so if i just click on this you will be able to have a new window here and whatever the changes i make here so let's just add something here so i would like to add the button here after the text so if i just click on the update now and now go back to our preview changes the button will be updated on our page this is how the preview changes work and after this we have the button to update and also the publish since it is already published so that is why we can see the option of the update here and after this we have the save options so i can also save this page as the template as well in the elementor and this is how i can create the page in wordpress elementor okay so if i just click here now you can see the option of the view page i will simply click here and you will be able to see our new page here okay so we have our heading we have our image also the text and the button so this is how you can create the page in wordpress elementor so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel